Is this on? Hello, my beautiful bookworm people, or whatever my friend calls you. My name is Alex, and I have taken over Bookworm Bell's channel. So today we're going to do lots of other things, things that don't include books, like we're going to do clay modelling, we're going to do stuff like, we're going to do stuff that includes socks, we're going to do stuff like, oh, that includes animals, like, I mean, we're going to include an animal, like, are we going to include? No, we're going to have a giraffe. We're going to put a giraffe in her room. It's going to be like here. And then we're going to do stuff that includes what we're going to do. What we're going to do. We're going to do story times. Hey, I brought some drinks. What are you doing? Nothing. Why is the camera? Your camera's not on. Is it on? No, it's, it's recording. Is it? It's recording. What are you is doing? That, is that my water? What are you doing? I'm not doing anything, I'm just waiting for you. You took forever. You're taking over my channel, no, aren't you? No, I'm not. <laughs> you are all the same! First my sister, now you! How can you do this to me, Alex? What? <laughs> Eleven years I trusted you! Eleven years? Oh! She's so damn dramatic. <laughs> <laughs> channel and today I have my friend Alex who tried to take over my channel yeah I've got my eyes on you girl anyway <laughs> so today we are doing story time can you explain to us what is story time because this okay. is her idea <laughs> okay so story time is a game so basically one person will say a sentence and then when that sentence ends the other person which will be you will say another oh sentence <laughs> there's only the two of us here <laughs> Are you sure? Girl, don't <laughs> start with a ghost thing. You know I'm a wimp. Okay. You have a closet opposite your bed. Just think about all the friends you could invite over. Don't scare me. <laughs> but yeah, the game. The game is basically. <laughs> so I would say a sentence and Donna would say a sentence and you would create a story that way. So if I were to say there was a man called John, he walked down the road, you would then say another sentence to carrying it on. So basically we are testing our storytelling um, abilities today, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, okay. So how do we do this? Do we have a timer? How long do you want um, it to be? Well, we can either do it for a certain amount of time or we can do it until we feel like the story has a natural conclusion. Okay, so, once upon a time, there was a dog named Spot, and it ran through a really muddy puddle in the middle of July, and it ran through the nearest palace doors into the Great Hall. So, as he entered, as Spot entered the pal palace door, the butler sees him and screamed. It was the most shrill, girly scream the butler had ever screamed. And upon hearing this, the prince ran into the hall just to slap the butler for his ridiculous girly scream. The prince says, Calm yourself, man! <laughs> Little did he know that the butler was actually a woman in disguise uh, who had actually kidnapped the real butler and kept him in the dungeon below. So Spot continued. He was not stopped after all that screaming. <laughs> <laughs> he was not stopped! And he went straight to the dungeon and saw this prison, prisoner, prison, prisoner, saw this prisoner and was really curious because he was wearing a dress, this very beautiful dress, considering <laughs> that the dungeon is actually really, like, dirty. This dress is in pristine condition, so Spot, being a very, very muddy dog, wanted to ruin it. Spot was a very destructive puppy, so he tried to wiggle his way through the gates of the dungeon uh, just so he could jump on the nice pristine dress that the butler was wearing. But the butler quickly decided that he didn't want to wear a dress at all, so he took the dress off and he tried to use it for the ball and they're like, Toro, Toro. But yeah, he did that to the dog and the dog skidded into the cell. And because the dog was so muddy, he made the bars of the cell kind of slippery. So the, uh, the butler was able to squeeze out and he left the dress where it was. But now he was naked in the dungeon. Now we have a butler who's raving mad going on around this dungeon, right? And this puppy was smiling because inside, like, he was laughing his head off. That puppy was a very entertained puppy that day. That puppy had a very bored life before this. Like, it would just stay underneath the stairs of its house that he didn't particularly like. So one day, that's why he went through the puddle that day. He was like, I'm gonna start something. And 
when he found this butler, he thought, yes, today will be a good day. So the butler went upstairs and opened the prison door because he had um, a skeleton key to the whole house. And he ran into the great hall where there was mud everywhere and he went, oh, blimey, what is this? And guess what it was, guys? It was a meatloaf. More destruction <laughs> for the puppy. <laughs> oh. Even though the puppy was downstairs locked in the dungeon, he'd somehow managed to get a meatloaf into the great hall in the time that he got stuck. So the butler came in completely naked, apart from his underwear and one sock, and decided he was going to prepare the meatloaf for the prince, who was now a little confused since he saw two butlers standing before him. Two butlers, the prince said. How did this happen? Am I seeing double? The princess said, yes, sire, you are seeing double. Because the woman in disguise was actually a princess from a neighboring village or castle or it was a neighbor they were neighbors um, but they didn't know each other but she really wanted to marry the prince because she saw a picture of him and thought he was well lush <laughs> <laughs> but little did she know that the prince is actually betrothed to another neighboring princess who is so evil that everyone is so scared of her and spot is actually her dog Ooh, <laughs> Spot downstairs heard this exclamation and it was his mission to come back upstairs. So he wiggled through the gates and ran up the stairs and he ran proper messy. Oh! So that's where the story ended. <laughs> yeah, that's basically <coughs> Spot's story. Yeah. <laughs> so anyway guys, that is our story time for today. You're just going to have to find out what happened next to Spot and the butler and the prince because we are going to do this every month now um, I've decided because I'm really enjoyed this one I yeah, actually really, really enjoyed fun. this one thank you Alex no worries even you tried to steal my channel tried or succeeded yeah this tried. is your idea I tried don't don't <laughs> the what anyway guys that is it for me for today I hope you like this video please give it a thumbs up and I shall see you guys soon bye bye don't say bye it's not your channel <laughs>